Apparently, Hasbro has alluded to they want Microsoft and Xbox to bring back Activision's Transformers games, uh, potentially uh, on on Game Pass. So uh, you you just introduced this to me. Uh, so the, the, what is the gist of this, Kraus? Basically, what it is is they're saying you know they've had a great. What, where was it? What was what's the big game convention that just happened? DreamCon. No. Oh, wait, where is it? During an interview with the uh, Transformers fan website, Transformers World 20, I guess it's Transformers World 20, 005. 2005 is the year of uh, the Transformers 1986 movie. Yeah, okay. And they're talking about that Hasbro has stated its desire to re-release the games published by Activision. And now, you know, that Xbox, well, they ha they don't own them yet, but they're pretty close pretty much they pretty much yeah. own activision yeah yeah, yeah. They, they, they they have that hasbro wants has a desire to bring those games back i think it's a great idea why not you know i think they were all pretty well received in their day they were and it's one of those things where the biggest problem going from like a uh, 360 to xbox one to series is a lot of times those um licensed games don't translate over it's hard to get a digital copy of deadpool if you don't already own one or old right. ninja turtles games and transformers were a part of it. I had to grab a fit like the only physical disc game I play from the Xbox One is Transformers Devastation. And I do own a copy of the first, I think, Transformers War for Cybertron on, on Steam, but since it's on PC, I don't play it too often because that's just such a headache for me because I've never really had a good core, you know, uh, uh, PC gaming situation.